Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Auto 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be back with the Firefighter mod running out of Fire Station number one here in Blaine County. And I have something very special for you guys to take a look at today, guys. Take a look at it. It is a fire truck. Literally, it's a fire, like, semi-truck. <laughs> but a semi-truck and trailer with a tanker. This thing is amazing, guys. Go ahead and take a look at this tanker unit 69 what what in the world I don't know but yeah it's a really cool truck we have lights on the Kenworth this looks so so cool and then we have the tanker with lights as well and if you take a look at the rear windows you see who the creator of it is Zeker design shout out to Zeke are very cool but um yeah let's go ahead and get started with our day uh, I'm assigned to this truck so um I guess uh, if we have any giant fires that needs like I don't know I don't even know how much water is in this thing I gotta google it and see if you know how much water a tanker like this can hold leave it in the comment section and I'm gonna google it and see who's right or who's the closest and I'm gonna give you guys a shout out for being right but um, yeah, let's see what ends up happening today, and let's get this video started. Alright, we are getting dispatched to a five alarm fire in Grapeseed right now, guys. Apparently, they're having water issues. There are no hydrants in sight, so we're going to bring out the tanker with our thousands of gallons of fuel. I, have, I said fuel, of water to put out the fire. All right, guys, we are in route with a semi truck. This is crazy. Oh, I gotta make this turn, but this SUV is in the way. Woo, let's go. This is gonna be so awesome. All right, so we got to get through Polito Bay, jump onto the freeway, and then jump off in uh, Grape Seed, and we'll be on scene. Watch out, station wagon moves somewhere. Uh, you guys know it's a serious, serious fire when you get a truck like this responding to a tanker like this. This thing is huge. I love the flags on the back too. That is so cool. We got the thin red lines flags. So once we get on scene, we're going to actually help out with the fire attack and search and rescue. I believe they said that there are people still trapped inside. So we're going to try to see if we could get everybody out safely and rescue them. So we're just going to really use the tanker just to drive there and then we'll stretch a line and start fighting the fire. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of smoke. Oh. 
<laughs> Look at the cow just crossing the road. Okay, we are on scene. Looks like the Blaine County Fire Department is here. They got a ladder truck. Alright, uh, where do we have? We have an engine over on this side. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Okay, um, this probably happened because I spawned the call twice. Uh, yeah, let's just reset that. Yeah, let's just get rid of that one. Reset that. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright, we got engines over on this side. I think what I want to do is... Holy crap, this thing is completely up in fire, guys. Alright, we got people on the roof, too. Um, I wanted to get next to one of the actual engines. I guess we'll just pull a line. Stretch out a line. Alright, I wanted to get closer to the other side, but it's okay. We don't have much time. Let's get to work. I'm going to get my gear out the truck. Alright, got everything we need. Looks like we changed and became a captain. That's cool. Alright, let's report to the uh, chief. Let them know we have the tanker here and let's see what they want us to do. This thing is crazy. We got firefighters on the roof, fire throughout. That looks crazy. Alright, let's get to work. Let's get to work. Alright, we got our chief over here. Hey, chief. See what he wants us to do. You got the planning board. Glad you showed up. This is a tough one. Multi-story house fully engulfed. There are at least three to four trapped civilians in there. Oh, that sounds really bad. Do we know their location? Uh, the other victim we managed to pull out told us that there is one downstairs and two to three more upstairs. We have to hurry. They have probably already passed out because of the smoke. We have a team ventilating the roof to try... Uh, try to make your way inside and get them out of there. If you can, ventilate some windows as well to get better visibility. Call for backup. All right, we got it, Chief. So we're going to go ahead and go in there. Now, fire callouts, I forgot to mention that. That is the plugin we are using. You guys can find it on LSPDFR, and I will link it down below in the video description. I am using the uh, beta version of this mod, so it does have a couple of features that are still a work in progress, such as this hose that you guys are going to see me using here. So this is a work in progress. If you guys would like to get access to this one, you can do so by checking out Panos' uh, Patreon page, and I'll link that down below in the video description. So what we are going to do is, uh, let me just get another tender to connect to me. Let's get inside and start uh, getting people out. You know what? I want to, let's actually, I'm not going to take a line yet. Hold up. Let's just go in and start pulling people out because it's going to be hard for me to run around with the line while carrying people so i'm gonna put this down and we're gonna come back for that we'll let them get the lines and everything ready um i feel like i do need some stuff though let me grab some equipment i'm like all over the place i haven't played in a while so i'm just like ah what to do what to do what do i do all right oh i think i gotta go back here let me get some equipment All right, let's get a flashlight. I guess we could take a can with us, crowbar, and we should be good. All right, so we got a halligan and a can. Let's get inside. Let's force in entry here. All right, turn on our SCBA. All right, so we're searching for victims in here. Oh, we got one guy right here. He's not looking too good. All right, let's get him out of here. All right, we got one that we're pulling out of the first floor. We're going to transfer him to the EMS. That's a bathroom, not an exit. All right, sounds like we have more units coming on scene. Stretching lines. Looks like they have the line stretched to the tanker back there now. So let's hand him off to EMS. And let's get in there and keep searching. We have a report of two to three in there. Now we can also pull a ladder too. Uh, throw up some portable ladders so we can get to the second floor. I want to try to search the basement. And then after that we'll uh, make our way up to the second floor. Alright, we're going down without a line. We do have a candle. All 
Alright, we're gonna need a line down here in the basement. This can is not gonna hold it. Uh, let's hit the thermal cameras. Alright, doesn't look like anybody else is down here. Yeah, we're gonna need a line in order to check, so we're gonna have to come back and check that on the secondary. Uh, let's continue searching, guys. Oh man, this thing is fully on fire here. Its ability is not good at all. I think what we should do probably is to uh, try to start ventilating too. So that we could get better visibility. I'm going to move up to the second floor. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, we got somebody in here. Alright, I got a second person up. Oh boy. Oh, the fire is spreading, guys. Alright, I need, uh, I'm gonna need some backup. Fire is spreading. Oh my god, are we gonna be able to get out of here? Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, barely made it. Alright, we got out. Yeah, this fire is getting serious. I'm gonna throw up some portable ladders so we have alternate entry and exit points. This is getting serious. Alright, two's out. Let's get back in there. We're gonna grab a portable. Oh, that's... I wish when the other trucks, it's an ELS glitch, but I wish they would turn off the sirens. That would be very useful. Alright, we got another person out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, he fell off the roof. We're going to get fired. I think we're going to get fired, guys. We're not being good firemen. Okay, I'm just gonna try to grab him and go. So I can't um, hop over. Stop! <laughs> I keep throwing him. <laughs> I don't mean to do that. Oh boy, this is going crazy right now. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. So we got three people out. Who is crashing into what? Oh my god, where are you? Okay, let's just delete you. Alright, let's swap out our SCBA and let's stretch a line. I think they got most of the fire out already though, but we'll still stretch a line in and try to put out any other hot spots that are still going. Yeah, it looks like the uh, backup we call put out all of the fire, so we don't really get to use the water. Oh, shoot, we didn't turn on the pump. All right, so we're just going to do our secondary search and see if we miss anybody on the primary. It was pretty hectic. We missed out on a lot, but I guess we did kind of okay. So let me turn the pump back on. I had it on originally, but then I accidentally pissed off the uh, operator, and he tried to start fighting me, and then I had to, like, turn it off, and I forgot to turn it back on. What we can do, though, is head up to the roof and try to do some ventilator, maybe, since it looks like the fire is out. Yeah, we still have a good smoke condition going in here.
Looks like there's a lot of squatters in here, all of these, um, these, uh, sleeping bags. Oh, shoot, we had another person in here. Alright, let's get them out of here. Shoot, I don't think I could pick them up with the hose. Shoot. Alright, we're gonna have to come back and get them. I saw I didn't want to carry the hose at first because I don't think I can carry them while I'm um, holding the hose. Maybe I could. Not sure. But let's back out. This is a crazy fire, though. Alright, so we will put that away. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is for a wildfire. Oops, pulled the wrong one. There's a, um, another tool for the roof, but I forgot what. Oh, here we go. To vent the roof. So let's use this to vent while we, after we uh, pull that other guy out. Ah, oh, my ladder disappeared. I wonder if it's because I have too many tools out. <laughs> I'm doing two things at the same time. Okay, so the roof kind of already vented because I had two tools in my hand as I was trying to place the uh, the um, ladder. I accidentally vented the roof. All right, we got him out. So now you're gonna notice there's not as much smoke in. So let's just do a quick. Secondary search while we're bringing this guy out. Make sure we didn't miss anything else. We can go ahead and turn that off now. So I think that's uh, four victims in total. We have four or five victims. Hopefully they're all gonna be okay. Let's get a EMS out here. All right, so that was a uh, successful fire. I would say we did what we had to do. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Let's uh, hand off everybody to EMS and let's see what ends up happening here. So we have four victims. All right, here comes the EMS. Hopefully everybody's gonna be okay. They're not really in the best condition right now, but I think they're gonna be okay. Hopefully. Wow, this is a tough one. Yes, it is. Now I I would work on the other two oh, while they're working on two, but I don't want to glitch it out because they may try to take over and then it may just mess up. So I'm just gonna let them handle everything and hope for the best. Se acabó. Come on. Come on, man. I did my best here. It just wasn't good enough. Alright, let's um let's see what we can do here. Such a waste. Hold up. I'm not giving up, hold up. Let me uh try something out here. 
Let's pull out this uh, medic bag. And let's put that down. Damn, another DOA. All right, let's assess their injuries. And it looks like all of them. Oh, one is good. All right, so one out of four survived. I'm going to try to work on the other ones to see if I can save them somehow. I'm not giving up. All right, he has a headache. All right, let's see if I can save them somehow. I'm not giving up. All right, he has a headache. Painkiller, dismiss him or take him to the hospital. All right, let's um take him to the hospital. Wait. Let's try uh, assessing this one over here. Alright, airway is good, breathing is normal, <laughs> pulse is weak, start an IV pack. Okay, so we're going to start an IV pack. Okay. Pulse is now strong, so I think he's gonna be able to be transported. And let's check this guy here. Pulse is weak, breathing normal, airway is good, so we're gonna also start an IV pack on this guy here. I okay, guess so we'll just get another ambulance to transfer these guys, but I, I think they're going to be okay. So we're going to head back to the firehouse guys, and uh, I guess this original paramedic would finish up here. All right, guys, we got the fire under control, so we're going to go ahead and return back to the station. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button and leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And let me know, guys, do you want to see some more firefighting videos on the channel? Let me know down below in the comment section. But have a great day, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.